this is Mario once again with MI Microflight and I have been adding some additional accessories for this uh, miniature I have been saying 174th scale but it's actually 176 these are for these micro or turbo racers or turbo racing miniature radio control cars the fully proportional ones great little cars by the way um, so I've been just going nuts making all kinds of things you know for this uh, for this track in uh, in this video I wanted to uh, showcase this uh, building here uh, there's not much room in this track after taking much of the space for the track itself there's really not, not much room to do anything else but uh, to maybe just um, embellish it with a few uh, items here and so I decided to do a building here which I thought would be interesting and this is very simplistic in, uh, in the sense that I've been just working with uh, basic shapes, squares, uh, you know, hexagons. Uh, I, why com make it complex? Because this is just a model. I mean, uh, the complexity is actually in the, in the 3D printed parts, the actual parts that get printed. That's, that's, where the, uh, that's a little more complex uh, there. But just to, to get an idea how these things are going to look, uh, I've been working with these structures here. I did a tower here. Um, I've always uh, sort of... Uh, had an affinity or have an affinity for towers. I, I kind of like towers. I don't know. There's something about being in a tower and just overlooking uh, outside the uh, the glass uh, dome here. That it's uh, it's kind of uh, kind of neat. Um, and so I made this uh, little control tower here. I did the uh, building. Uh, and the building, as you can see, is just a bunch of glass uh, doors, both back and, and rear, just to get a, a nice perspective. Uh, an interesting uh, view from uh, all sides. Got windows and, and a door on the, on the side. And I also made these. Uh, uh, these were supposed to be uh, air conditioning units, but I actually turned them into uh, uh, skylights. You know, with the, with those added lights at the front and at the rear here. I don't want to go too crazy. Uh, I was going to put some lights on the sides here, but I think it looks uh, okay that way. Uh, and this video is actually for, uh, I mean, I don't have uh, that big of an audience and when I talk, uh, you know, some people are probably thinking that I'm talking to myself. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not that crazy. <laughs> uh, and so, you know, my audience is very limited, uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's not, that's not why I make these videos. It's not to attract a lot of attention. I mean, I do this uh, because I got nothing better to do, I, uh, you know. So this is how I spend my 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 time, you know, making fun stuff like that for myself and for my 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 family, my kids, you know, my grandkids uh, in particular that are getting a little bit older. So um, I would like to know, even even if I uh, even if you know nobody wants to contribute uh, comments, I would like. Uh, you know to know you know what other things uh, people might be interested in and i know g gerardo you're one of the one of my my uh, my favorite uh, audiences thank you very much for uh, making the comments at least uh, i get one person making comments uh, uh, if you see anything else that uh, or if you think can think of anything else that might fit in this track you know i would like to i would like to know give me some uh, some ideas uh, what what you would put in something you know let me see if i can uh, turn those into, into a, a reality here. Um, I can always replace these things. I mean, they don't. They're not. Uh, there's no set rules here. They, they don't need to be there. I can always change my mind and replace these things. I have this area here that I could, that can also be used instead of. Uh, I just made this into like a, a short uh, lake or pond, and I made this area here. This is supposed to be like a little, uh, a small uh, uh, mountain. Uh, or maybe uh, some uh, dirt uh, area, rocky area, and so I just did it really quick. You know, this is with extrusions and uh, just uh, offsetting the uh, the profile here. Um, I could get a little more elaborate, and make it make it look like a rock formation here, like a little mountain here. But um, uh, and, and you know, but that takes a little more time. And I just wanted to get right now. What I'm trying to do is just get a, get an overall. Uh, a feel for this. Uh, I mean, the track is already there. I already have a good feel, and then there should be a good feel to anybody that's viewing this of uh, of this particular layout. It's a pretty cool layout. You know, it took me a while to uh, to come up with this uh, after uh, pondering on many uh, real racetracks and uh, just kind of trying to formulate something that would fit an eight by four board. You know, with, uh, with 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 some uh, level of interest, and where I could also you know make use of the. Uh, 
uh, of the area while uh, allowing me to also leave some areas, you know, so that I can put embellishments uh, and accessories such as the ones that you see here, this little building in this tower. But if uh, anybody, anybody out there watching my videos has any uh, any uh, suggestions or ideas, what would you do with this, uh, you know, with this 8x4 section of the track um, uh, as far as uh, accessories? Uh, so I would be interested in, uh, I'm interested in knowing you know what uh, what other ideas people have and this is not to steal your ideas you know um, if you come up with an idea I and I, and I make it uh, into a, a 3d part I will uh, certainly give you uh, credit for that I don't plan on selling these uh, these parts right here um, and if um, I think that the, I think that the uh, the fair thing to do would, would be that if uh, somebody comes up with an idea and then let's say I end, I end up uh, uh, using it designing it of course you know the idea is just an idea I still have to do the work and, and do the uh, the actual um, uh, 3d design which takes uh, you know quite a bit of time and effort um, but if that's the case I will probably uh, just let the files uh, uh, go for free so that people can download it and um, and do their their own little track I may also uh, I may also uh, give these files uh, for for free. Uh, I may put them on Thingiverse. I have done that before. I have uh, a section there that I haven't I haven't posted anything there uh, recently um, since I did uh, some little parts on uh, a 3D printer that I did a while back, and that got downloaded uh, I think quite a bit. So you know if that's the case. Uh, any contributions that I may turn into a CAD model, and, uh, and I can possibly contribute the STL file, you know, for uh, Thingiverse to be downloaded. Uh, you know, there's no money to be made in, in stuff like this. I'll be perfectly honest. I, I make a lot more money than selling, uh, you know, one of my hang gliders than than little parts like that. And that's why I actually pulled away from doing the micro helicopter stuff. Uh, number one, because uh, you know, it uh, all these. Uh, uh, quadcopters, multi-copters that came on uh, to the scene after the little micro helicopters were popular, you know, it kind of took over and there was no point in me uh, continuing that line of uh, products, even though to this day I still get orders and I don't know how people find out, you know, they kind of sneak in uh, a few orders here and there from some old website that's probably linger lingering out there uh, and I keep refunding people the money because I don't make those things anymore, they're, they're, they're little things, you know, I, I mean, it's great when, when you're younger. It's yeah. It's great when you're young and you can uh, you have uh, good uh, eyesight and you know you're able to uh, do things uh, at the micro uh, level. But uh, even even this is a uh, sometimes it can be a little tedious. You know when you're you, when you start getting older and especially when you have to sell products like this. You know it's uh, it's just a lot of little parts and you you don't really make uh, money. And, and my my thing is not to make money to get rich. It's to basically. Uh, uh, number one, satisfy uh, uh, that emotional uh, area that we all have in the, in our spirit. And that's why I do this. But um, um, and, and so I guess my point is that that uh, you know the little stuff like that. Uh, you know this this can be you know it's it's very very uh, very minor. Uh, so in that respect, I may um, just uh, give away the you know the files so people can download it and uh, and just print it. Uh, it'd be better if uh, you can just download the G code file, and that way you don't have to mess with the uh, slicing the um, slicing the files. Um, provided that the uh, provided that you have a similar machine to the ones that I I used to print, and I think it, it pretty much every 3D printer can can whip out uh, you know these these parts with uh, with similar. Uh, Consistency, provided you know your machine is uh, level and uh, set up uh, right. So it's something that I'm I've been considering, something that I'm thinking uh, of doing. Uh, but I do want to hear you know your comments on uh, what else would you put here in the areas that are uh, left this uh, these green pads here. I don't want to overload this setup here because when you overload things, it gets uh, too gaudy and too. Uh, it just gets too much, you know, it's like putting too much sugar in your coffee. So I just want to put uh, the, the right elements that are going to give uh, this a, uh, a very interesting and uh, uh, full Im immersion, you know, as you're, as you're running through this. And even with a little FPV camera, you know, it can go through these uh, areas here and, 
and get a nice uh, nice feel for this uh, for this even though it looks more like a like a game here um, which re reminds me when I when I think uh, one of the one of the companies that was making a uh, Flight simulators. I don't know if it's FMS or one of the bigger companies. They came out with a similar. I did similar layouts. You know, as, as you see here. In that case, you know, I was able to fly. You know, my radio control models through uh, tunnels, through uh, bridges, and through trees, and it was a little more costly. But I, I ended up uh, doing something similar like this for those uh, simulators we're talking about. You know, many many years ago. But um, yeah, you know, uh, so this is nothing new. What I'm doing here, it's just. You know, in fact, this is a lot, a lot easier for me to do these things. But give me your comments if you want to share those uh, in my uh, comments uh, below. Stay tuned for more.